Hi guys, Excel Tech here. Okay, today I've got 15 tips to master your Windows 10 usage. So let's start with the first one. All right, in order to save important information quickly, we'll be taking screenshots. Especially in smartphones, it is easy to take screenshots with simple gestures. But on Windows 10, you'll have to just press the print screen key and then copy it to a paint or something else and then save it as an image file. But no more, you can just save it into a screenshot image file directly on Windows 10 just by pressing the Windows key and the print screen key at the same time and the image file will be saved to the default pictures directly into your PC. And in order to capture a particular part or a particular window in your screen, you can use the snip and sketch feature for which just press the Windows key, Shift and S at the same time and the menu will be launched. So here you can do a full screen snip to capture the entire screen or a window snip to particularly capture a particular window or you can do a freeform shape snip or a rectangular snip. So when you have a clutter of windows in your desktop and if you want to minimize all the windows except the one you are using right now, just select the desired window and shake it over the others and the other windows will be minimized immediately. And when you want to retrieve them back, just shake the active window again and they will be back. And instead of minimizing all the windows, you can also use the split screen view with two windows, three or four windows simultaneously by snapping them to corners. So just select the desired window and move it along the corner and you can use it in either two windows or three windows form as per your requirement. While using multiple windows in your desktop, in order to scroll through a window, you have to select that window to scroll over it. But you can also scroll over inactive windows for which just go to your device settings and go to the devices tab, go to the mouse tab and there you can find an option called scroll inactive windows when I hover over them. So when this option is enabled, you can also scroll over inactive windows just by hovering the cursor over them. Alright, as we use Google voice typing or similar other voice typing apps and services in our smartphones, we can also use a similar service called the dictation typing in Windows for which just press the Windows key and the H key at the same time to activate it and just tap through a text window and whatever you speak is automatically converted to text. So in order to include the current system date and time to a notepad document, instead of seeing and typing it, you can press the F5 button to add it automatically to a notepad document. You can access all the administrative tools and services in your PC by activating the secret start menu for which press the Windows key and the X key at the same time and all the majorly used administrative tools and services will be found here where you can access it seamlessly. In order to access all the task for shortcuts quickly, instead of hovering your mouse over them, you can use a keyboard shortcut. So for example, in the first place, I have the Android Studio and in the second place, I have Mail. So if I have to access this Android Studio, I have to press Windows key plus 1. Similarly for Mail, I have to press Windows key plus 2. So here I have the Adobe Acrobat Reader at Windows 7. So let me press Windows 7 and Acrobat Reader will be opened automatically. So similarly, you can access all the taskbar shortcuts quickly. So instead of moving a file or a folder to the recycle bin and then deleting it out of the recycle bin to remove it permanently from the system, you can delete it permanently directly by using a small shortcut. So for example, let me delete this one. So just drag it and hold the shift key at the same time and then move it to the recycle bin and it will be deleted permanently out of the system. In order to open the properties menu of a desktop shortcut quickly, just hold the alt key and double click on the icon and the properties menu will be opened quickly. So instead of opening the right click menu, you can open it quickly by using this shortcut. You can cycle through tabs that are active in any Windows 10 browser by using this shortcut. Just hold the control key and press the tab key to switch between different tabs in any Windows 10 browser and it will be easy for you to switch between tabs. And if you accidentally close any tab out of the browser, you can just retrieve it easily by using the Ctrl, Shift and T shortcut. Or else you can just right click over an empty space in the title bar to reopen the closed tab. So you will often have to open the task manager, especially when some program fails to respond. So instead of opening the Ctrl, Alt and Delete menu, you can press Ctrl, Shift and Escape keys simultaneously and the task manager will be opened. And finally, the last tip. In order to get a clutter-free desktop by hiding all the desktop icons so that you can retrieve them back seamlessly, instead of deleting all the shortcut icons, just right click over an empty space in the desktop and go to this view option and just disable show desktop icons 
and all the desktop icon shortcuts will be hidden and when you want to retrieve them back you can press the same menu here and they will be back so this is all about the video thanks for watching if you enjoyed this one then like and share this video and do consider subscribing to our channel i'm deepak and you're watching xl tech i'm signing off for now